Sabi ni Robert Kiyosaki, there are four ways for us to make money in this world. Una is yung tinatawag nating empleyado, employee. Kapag ikaw ay empleyado, may boss ka. May kumpanya ka na that you're working in. You are getting compensated every 15.30 of the month because you are exchanging your time, your energy, your effort, your skills to your employer. So there's nothing wrong with being an employee because marami ka talagang matutunan sa pagiging empleyado. If you are an employee, you need to learn para pag once mag-start ka ng sarili mong business, you can apply the things na maganda, natutunan mo doon sa pagiging empleyado mo. Yung mga pangit na experience mo, wag mong gawin sa negosyo mo. Ganun lang yun eh. The value that you get for being an employee is that you are learning. And the best part is, you are learning and you are also getting paid. Sa school, baliktad, ikaw yung nagbabayad sa teacher or sa school in order for you to learn. Dito, nag-work ka, you are getting paid and hands-on experience yung nakukuha mo. Pangalawang, self-employed, also known as specialist. In every problem, you are looking for a specific specialist. And do they earn money out of it? Yes. Sa self-employed, ikaw yung boss. You are earning money from your clients. That's the challenge of being a self-employed then. Kasi kung wala kang kliyente, hindi ka kumikita ng pera. Kung marami kang kliyente, kumikita ka ng pera. So examples of self-employed are the following. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, architects, graphic designers, video editors, social media managers, tubero, electrician, jeepney driver, taxi driver, tricycle driver, yun. You are your own boss. Pangatlo, negosyo. It is one of the best avenues for you to make a lot of money in the fastest way possible. Totoo po yun. Kung kayo po ay magiging negosyante and gusto mo pong kumita ng maraming pera, pwede ka talagang kumita ng maraming pera provided you are skilled enough to manage your business, may sistema ka na gagawin for your business para kahit na wala ka sa negosyo mo, kaya pa rin niya magpatakbo with or without you, and may tao ka, may mga tao kang tumutulong sa'yo, yung mga empleyado mo. So sa negosyo, ikaw yung boss, at the same time, meron kang mga empleyado. Sa self-employed, ikaw lang yung boss. Possible, wala kang empleyado. Ikaw lahat. And lastly, investor. Kung ikaw ay isang investor, pwede kang kumita ng pera. And the good thing is, yung pera na ang nanganganap ng pera. The moment you invest your money, your money will grow on its own. Ang tanong, which quadrant is the most important? Ang sagot po ay investor. Okay, bakit? Yung investor kasi, yung pera na yung nagtatrabaho for you, at the same time, darating yung panahon na when you retire, when you get older, kailangan pa rin natin ng pera for us to live. Saan natin kukunin yung pera? Doon sa ating na-invest. The younger you are, the better it is for you to invest in assets.